Now let's talk about adjacent vertices. Okay, we define it like this: two vertices are said to be adjacent if they are terminal edges for the same. Sorry, if they are terminal vertices for the same edge. Okay, if they are. terminal vertices for the same edge okay so let us try to understand this with an example here in this particular graph i am going to say that v2 and v3 are adjacent to each other okay why is it so because both of them are terminal vertices for the edge e23 okay that is the reason v2 and v3 are adjacent to each other the same is the case with v3 and v4 because e43 is having them as its terminal vertices same is the case with v4 and v2 okay so that's about your adjacent vertices okay next we are looking at what is an incident edge okay incident edge we define it like this an edge vij is said to be incident on vertex vk if it's if vk is the terminal vertex or terminal vertex for vij okay for okay we are talking about edge right so it is E I J instead of V I J. Okay, an edge E I J is said to be incident on vertex V K if V K is the terminal vertex for E I J. Okay, so let's have the example. I'm going to have the same graph over here. What we have is E two three is incident on. it is incident on v2 because v2 is the terminal vertex for e23 right it is also incident on v3 okay other example that you can take is e33 it is incident on what it is incident on v3 okay since it has only one terminal vertex okay next we are looking at what is a weighted graph okay so we define weighted graph like this a graph in which each edge or each vertex is associated with some value then that graph is known as a weighted graph okay is associated with some value then the graph is known as a weighted graph okay then the graph is known as a weighted graph so for a weighted graph you can simply have let's suppose you are wanting to depict distance between couple of cities so what you can do is you can say that this is city a this is city b and this is city c okay you are going to say let's suppose that distance between my city a and b is 10 kilometers distance between my city b and c is 
let's suppose 15 kilometers and distance between city A and C is 20 kilometers then this basically represents a graph right because it has couple of vertices and it has some edges right so what is a graph but a collection of vertices and edges so this particular graph we are going to call it as a weighted graph because here each of the edge is associated with a value which over here represents the distance between these two vertices which actually are cities okay so I'm just going to write over here this is a weighted graph where the weight what is the weight weight is the value associated with your edge okay so this is called as a weight where the weight represent the distance between the cities okay your ABC over here are cities next we are looking at degree of a graph sorry degree of a vertex okay so what is the degree of a vertex degree of the vertex is simply the number of edges incident on the vertex incident on the vertex we just have to remember one thing over here for a loop or let's write it like this a loop contributes a degree of 2 to its terminal vertex okay degree of 2 to its terminal vertex okay all other type of edges they are going to contribute a degree of 1 so let me give you an example over here in this particular graph so over here what is the degree of v2 the degree of v2 over here is we are going to see how many edges are incident on v2 okay so this edge is incident on v2 this one is also incident on v2 this is also incident on V2 and this is also incident on V2. Therefore, the degree of V2 is going to be equal to 4. Okay. And what about degree of V3? Degree of V3 is going to be, let's check out. This is incident on V3. This guy is incident on V3 and this guy is incident on v3 so the degree of v3 is not equal to 3 but equal to 4 because the loops degree we are going to take it as 2 so this is 2 this is 1 this is 1 so the total is 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 4 okay you just keep this in mind always so degree of v3 is 4 now we are going to see what is a pendant vertex okay that is very simple it is simply a vertex with a degree of 1 okay so an example for this would be let us suppose I have a graph like this whoops okay now in this case let me assume that this is a vertex this is a vertex this is a vertex and this is a vertex okay I'm gonna call this as v1 v2 v3 
V4. What is the degree of V2 over here? The degree of V2 over here is 1. Therefore, V2 is going to be a pendant vertex. Okay. So, V2 is a pendant vertex. And what about V1? Even V1, the degree is 1 because there is only one edge incident on V1. But V4, the degree is 2 because of two edges over here. And V3, the degree is 2 because of two edges like this. So V2 and V1 are pendant edges. Okay.